that. So 3 is the coefficient of x. That's all. A okay, coefficient is just a number in front of a variable. Now you can see all these though. All right, they don't have any numbers there. You know by now if there's no number in front, it gets a 1. So this is like 1y, one like 1x, one like 1y. One all right, so I have to put the matrix of coefficients in both denominators. So coefficients, you've got 3, 3, and negative 1, because it says with their signs. And then here you've got 1 and negative 1. 3, negative 1, 1, negative 1. 3, negative 1, 1, and negative 1. Same thing in both denominators. Exact same. Now, if that bothers you, if you're having a hard time visualizing this, what I would suggest you do when you get to this point, okay, erase the letters. put a matrix bars around it. See, what I wrote there is the exact same thing I have here. I just took the letters out and put matrix bars around it. All I did. And not a trick. Okay, that was step three. Step four. Now i got to fill in the top numbers. The top numbers a little more work. Right, for X, you're going to lift up the right row. So I'm going to take this right row of numbers, and I'm just going to go flip, straight up. Just go flip, right up. And for Y, you lift up the left row. Okay. So same thing with Y, but you do that way. Straight up. I think if I go flip, it'll help. Okay, that's next time. All right, so now you can see i got two blank spots left on the left and on the right. The blank spots are where I put the two things after the equal sign, the only two numbers I haven't used. I haven't used this one and three over here yet. I don't touch those yet. That's what goes here and here. Now, well, now you're looking at this and going, oh, no, not matrix division. No, it's not matrix division. It's a lot easier than that. We're finding what they call the determinant of the matrices. The determinant is when you multiply the diagonals and subtract. That's all the determinant is. So when we do work with the determinant, we always start in this top left corner. And we multiply going down that way. So I do 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. Then I multiply coming back the other way. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Okay. I've got to do the same thing for all my other matrices. Again, you always go this way, then you come back and go this way. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Now, this matrix down here is the same as this one. So I don't have to figure it out again. It's going to be the exact same thing. Yay. So, up here. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. Set in the definition. Determinant is the difference of those two products. So now I've got to go through and just throw subtraction signs in there. Subtract, 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 subtract. Ha, beautiful. Done. Okay. You know by now, you can see we've got a bunch of things in here that are subtracting a negative. Subtracting a negative changes into addition. This one's going to change into adding. This one's going to change into adding. That one's going to change into adding. Okay. 
You can see now these are just looking like two regular plain old fractions, and that's exactly where we're going here. Okay. So now I just got to solve them out. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. 9 minus 1 is 8. We know the bottom is the same. Divide them. Top divided by bottom. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. There's your x and your y. It is. That's x. That's y. I know it seems like a long, drawn-out thing. It's like, oh, why do we do other work? Trust me, when we do substitution elimination, you're going to be wishing we could keep doing this. The hard part is just getting the process straight. Once you get the process straight, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, let's try another one. Example two. We've got x minus y equals negative three, and x plus y equals seven. X minus y is negative three. <laughs> x plus y equals seven. Okay, so. Are they lined up in order? Do we have x's, then y's, then equal signs, then constants? Yeah, they're in that order. That's good. Okay. All right, step two, set up two fractions. <coughs> Ta-da. OK, step three, I've got to put the matrix of coefficients in there. Again, the coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. Well, as you can see, this one, we're missing a whole lot of numbers here. So remember, it doesn't have anything in front of it, they all get ones. Well, that was easy. Okay, so that matrix of coefficients goes in the bottom. Again, you have a hard time visualizing this. Take out the variables. Get rid of that, get rid of the x. Y, get rid of the Y. 